Pal, pal, pal. Pal, pal, pal. Yes, our tour is at Tuvanid is an atero Nakurairo. Yenda Kumana and Kutusa, Koe began to Kubanga began the mass or more press conference, say Jemulabe, again to Kuba or Nakurairo. His Excellency Robert Chabron Saint Amos Akone, Doctor Kano Kizabes, the Nabu position Yavada, Okuva Mobitundu, Okuva Mobina, Avian Jabulu, Ya, Okuva Mobina, Avian Jabulu, Jeke Chamau, or Nakurairo Bakungani, Okogera Kunsonga, as in Jabulu, so it is a Mokusong as again, Okogerako, says in his Avina, Bebu, Engage Oburu, Jefferson. Wa moving getting seven in Nakuzino, Jazanya may be over Fuzzi, a while you quarter of Afuganyanga by the polling station, Nenda Ningi Nesong and another Ningi Wizu. Katugan Munda, then Benga to Sakovia Nai began the Mobile Kubako, Shiaringa, Yita, inviting her to Tambuze, a chin to Chino, Mobile New, Mobile. Hello, 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 hello. Um,
Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the opportunity to convert here. We are once again gathered here for the good of our country. We know we have individual interests. We know we have individual aspirations. But we also recognize that this country is bigger than all of us and also recognize that Uganda is here forever. Give us wisdom and guidance as we deliberate and go through the session for the good of our country. Amen. matters has not done so because it is equally under capture. 
Be that as it may, the various political parties and formations have continuously participated in these elections because of our firm belief that democracy and the rule of law are the most ideal means through which we can have a peaceful transition and change of leaders at the lower levels. Unfortunately, the quality of elections has now gone from bad to worse, each election being worse than the previous one. Mr. Simon Biawakama's electoral commission has proved itself to be the worst in the history of our country. The rigging and open day thuggery, as exhibited in the by-elections of Kayunga, Omoro, and Soroti, is now done with so much boldness and ridiculousness. This demonstrates the crisis at hand. Among others, the three, general, the three by elections have been characterized by the following. One, Kayunga. The Electoral Commission in Kayunga supplied British ballot papers to regime operatives. They arrested over 100 of Honorable Harriet Nakwede's polling agents and supervisors the night before and on election day in the hope of carrying out ballot staffing and detail. Robin and Abanja went on a bribing spree, some of which you members of the media captured. Despite all the ballot staffing and violence, Honorable Harriet Nakwede emerged winner with a difference of over 15,000 votes. Shamelessly, the Electoral Commission announced the NRM candidate winner without any results. Contrary to the law, the Electoral Commission refused to hand over a copy of the tally sheet relied on to, to, to declare results at the tally centre because there was none. They gave themselves several days to doctor both the tally sheet and their reforms. Recently, the regime has ensured that the election petition in Kayunga is dismissed on the most ridiculous grounds. The will of the people of Kayunga was usurped. In Omoro, ladies and gentlemen, the regime took advantage of the poverty-stricken population and engaged in open bribery with items like soap and maize flour. Some people were bribed with as low as 2,000 shillings. Early morning on voting day, regime operatives working with crime intelligence moved from polling station to polling station, arrest arresting Honorable Tolit Simon's polling agents and supervisors. By the end of the day, over 60 polling agents and supervisors out of 84 polling stations had been arrested. With the majority of the polling stations not manned by the polling agents assigned, the regime had a field day staffing. A man called Moses Karangwa and other thugs took over the election. Yet again, the Electoral Commission had supplied British ballot papers to regime operatives who transported them in vehicles without number plates. Whoever questioned the open day thuggery was quickly arrested and detained, including members of parliament and other leaders. Hundreds of people were ferried from neighboring districts to participate in the voting. Despite a very low turn up in Omoro, the Electoral Commission gifted Mr. Andrew Olanya with over 14,000 votes, and the Electoral Commission refused to avail copies of the tally sheet and their reforms relied on to declare results within the time, within the time frame within which one could lodge an election petition. The third instance is Soroti. As you all saw, in Soroti, police and the military spent the night prior to the election raiding homes of Honorable Moses Satan's polling agents and supervisors. FDC leaders, including the party president, were arrested and detained in Dokolo and other districts. The Electoral Commission yet again supplied regime authorities with predicted ballot papers in favor of the NRM candidate many of whom were caught red-handed by the ordinary people and were understood by the police. Vehicles without number plates uh, were deployed to transport British ballot papers on Soroti. Every leader who dared question or deter the ongoing ballot staffing was quickly arrested and detained. Some polling stations were closed before time and all voting materials confiscated by regime officials. At other polling stations, the residue of ballot papers after voting were collected and ticked in favor of NRM Zariko and thrown into ballot boxes. No tally sheet 
uh, before the sham counting could start. At the tally center, several false results were read, and no tally sheet was provided to back the results. The Electoral Commission yet again conspired with the regime to rob the people of Soroti of their victory. These are just a few of the numerous violations. Now, therefore, we, the undersigned leaders, the leaders who are here, on behalf of our respective political parties and formations, recalling the sacrifices of our people over the years, including the thousands of Ugandans who died in the war that General Seven led, claiming to fight against the election rigging, do hereby make it clear that we shall not watch on as General Seven, aided by the Wakama, Nabanja, Todong, Tangodoy, and their ill, to continue to hijack the will of the people with impunity. The what can they do attitude must stop. Elections must be free and fair, short of which they are not fit to be called elections. Going forward, we shall jointly, all severally, use any upcoming elections to organize and rally the population to defend their democratic rights and end the election madness that has bedeviled our country since independence. The current mega social economic crisis is directly related to the population having no say on how their country and their resources are managed. It is therefore urgent for the country to focus on how to get out of the current crisis and to procure a transition to an inclusive and democratic dispensation. I thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Secretary General, so, <clears throat> we will now have the leaders signing the joint statement. Yes, I told it is uh is how I could take a comicono, quiv your bibasaze nga baba lead or baba kulembeze and gedi government here we can come seven jeba move what are you swala or kukwa tabali kuluda or ganya na dana movi se la bio kuda mu kulonda and gave by deo nevi to evida na vinji but what debio kula bidako e chali a kayunga e chali or moro ne chali a soluting go kodio we mu uhze sa kono kuliko kujia kona mba preti kumoto case gendo kole bikolo vedo kuba bantu no kuba kwata or cause a place in ama jay na ba ine mundu abali mulea or kukwa taba kumo bululu baba polling agency sa kono could distributing or de o kulonda. Um no bata de mobio kula bidako bion nanga a kacheko kebio kulonda kabeda uh, mukago ogwo kunyaga obululubu no kubanga baba saba impapula okuli obukaka fu ko balangiri denga na zote bazilina so esawa zino uh, president party uh, president uh, party presidency bali mukuteeka ku mikono okuli owajema asmani uh, basalirwa dr kano kiza bensije okuli uh, uh, birig bwabi ya yeah, ya yeah. okuli uh, lord mayor elias lukwago 
uh, uh, kuliko ne His Excellency Robert Chagrani Sintamu uh, kuliko wa PPP na ye kwa li umuami yonayata deko mkono njia kuwa unkule tiramanya gawe mpola mpola chino chitu yamba uwa te chitu yamba kubanga uh, kabasaje wanwa genze ukusala woku vayo kugira kuchino nga bachira bachiri nga akagendi lili nti buli kulonda ukuli wa by elections ziri wo enkola yemu kunyigirizu wakwe kumu uh, ka, uh, uh, government ekola chechimu government ekola bie bimo kunyago bulu nye baba tebaba lonze bo beda angirida nye baba walonze nye baba singa bosti wakachiko kwebio kulonda kasigala kala angirida oyu wa enyalimu e watali buka kafu bona uwa e watali e watali uh, biwandi kubyo na so chetuliko na koralero tuisha agena maso no kutu usako vyo na vyo na evi genda maso mwe valenyo mwe valenyo za DP wedi ne da DP teriwo ekira ganti yo DP eri contented ne bya bigenda manso oba echa ine bizibo byayo byagwa muko emabega kawo tewali wa chekiri de DP era DP yo teriwo ku mukago guno Position of the from Ghana. It appears to me that the signing uh, has been completed. We will make copies and distribute to you the media after the briefing. And I'm going to start from my right. We will have the FDC 
making brief comments. May I now invite the FTC Deputy President, but also at this function, acting as the President. We have two Vice Presidents here, Yuna Konzo. Yeah, yeah. And I want to invite the FTC Chairman. The three of them will come here, and on behalf of the party, the Lord Mayor will make a the FDC Deputy President will make a very brief comment and then we'll be inviting the uh, uh, rest of the party leaders. So can we have the FDC? Before you, members of the press, the leadership of the FDC, already introduced to you the national chairman, Ambassador Virigua, and also the deputy president of the Western Region, the Honorable Bonzo, and myself, deputy president, we were informed. Our party president was arrested and detained in Dokoro. I was not able to make it to this meeting today. But our position is very clear on elections in this country. They are fraudulent. They, they are a mocker of democracy. <clears throat> what we have just witnessed in Soroti is despicable. On the eve of the elections, over 100 leaders and agents who had been deployed to man the electoral process were arrested, detained in various detention centers. Some were detained as far as Dokoro, including the party president, and the others were taken to Kedia. Quite a number of honorable members of parliament, including the honorable Bonzo here, he was also arrested, and a couple of others. No offense had, uh, had been committed by these leaders. And indeed, there are no charges that were preferred against them. On the voting day, it was mayhem. It was a nothing else. And uh, what happened? They raided various polling stations. In some polling stations, there was uh, open bribery at polling stations. And also, members who, I mean, agents were picked. They could not witness what had happened. And you can imagine they were returned to the polling centers after the conclusion of the exercise, only to sign declaration of research forms. And as you have heard from the statement that has been read before you, at some polling station, the residue material were pre-ticked, or I mean were ticked in favor of Wariko and the staffed in the ballot boxes. And lots of dirty, dirty things happened. Of course, in total violation of the electoral laws, the criminality that was committed was done before cameras. Some of you witnessed what happened. Even the pre-ticked ballot papers. You all captured them on your screen, on your cameras. And there was no shame at all on the part of the regime to orchestrate this bloody day. And we roundly rejected, reject the results of that election. It does not reflect the will of the people of Soroti East. It does not in any way meet the standards, the standards set in the constitution. And as we say earlier on, it's nothing else but a mockery of democracy. Going forward, we insist that the provisions of Article 3 give us a clear position, I mean, way forward on what we should be doing. Article 3 
provides that whoever derogates from the provisions of the Constitution, whether they are in state power or not, they commit treason. So we state in no uncertain terms that what happened in Soroti is treasonable. All those agents of the regime, starting with Seven himself, because he was the mastermind behind this, coming to Nabanja, the Prime Minister, and many others, the Tango Doyes, uh, the, the Mukuras and whoever, they committed treason. And once you commit treason, it's incumbent upon Ugandans to rise to the occasion. Because there is a command that we have always cited in the provisions of the Constitution. That command under Article 3, that the duty rests with Ugandans to stand up and deal with that kind of buffoonery. So it's up to now the people of Uganda. And as the FDC, we make a commitment to work hand in hand with our brothers and sisters in all the party formations that have committed themselves in this instrument to do whatever within, one, within our means under the provisions of Article 3 of the Constitution. To, to, to defend the will of the people. It's important. Because the cornerstone of democracy, the cornerstone of constitutionalism, is upholding the will of the people. So electoral exercises, which do not reflect the will of the people, are a fuss, are a mockery of democracy. So this was a sham exercise. And the trail of that has been happening, as you are told. It happened in Omoru, happened in Kayunga, and we have not been in any way helped by the institutions that are supposed to defend this justice. I specifically talk about, as I conclude, what happened in the case of Nakwede. It is horrible. And it was well orchestrated. The case which was filed, the papers were duly submitted before court, the pleadings, and the registrar took his time to sign on the notes of presentation of the petition. And the law requires that the notes of presentation of petition shall be served together with the petition. Now the registrar took his time, I think, after filing the petition, he did not sign the notes of presentation of the petition. He waited until after four days. And when you count the days, the seven days provided before in the law, the service was done within time. Because he indicated the day when he signed, when he appended his signature on the notes of presentation of the petition. But the judge dismissed it on technicalities that the service was done out of time. You can see how the judicial has also been drafted into this network, this racket of Thugger, and a couple of other cases we can cite. So we can't stand this, we can't watch with arms folded. We are saying, going forward, in the ongoing election cycles, it's not going to be business as usual. And we want Ugandans to embrace this message we are committed here to working together as a team, as a formidable team, because we stand on the right side of the Constitution. We are the, cost, rather, the Constitution of this Republic of Uganda is on our side. And we fight Ugandans to firmly stand with us. And all of us who are before you here, we want to speak with one voice, we want to sing in unison that enough is enough and we must deal with this buffoonery, with this thuggery, with this madness, with this nonsense as a united front. So we are really committed as the FDC in all aspects to deal with this madness. The Constitution
reign supreme. And we invite all stakeholders, please, let's join us in this struggle. The very final thing is, we invite the respective supporters of this formation, the members of the FDC, the members of NU, the members of JEMA, PPP, and all other stakeholders. Let's bury our differences and rescue this country from the precipice. We rescue this country from the cliff. We are sitting on a time bomb as a nation. Unless we come together and deal with this madness, the junta will always go away with the attacker. And those remarks would like to reiterate our commitment to dealing with this nonsense as a united front. May God bless you. I thank you. In less than a minute, Bangambi will be from Ramu. Sijabu Damu Bindi, Naye, Echiriwo Mugwanga, Tewachari, Kuronda, Katimamio Museven, Bagazako, is our body in the Babuzabuza, Katibabi Kola Musana Guaka. Mungeri ya china njo chanchi mize Ayagala cho ya galo kola chikori Katibacha ali kako na akamu Dihida mwabwa wabwa teya kacha ali mwa kakunguna Msefe ni yala jide dala mtikatu ukuronda asara uwa ya galo Tichawa desoloti Baku teba agents neba leaders Nepate president of FDC Neba mtu wala neba msibida edokoro Paka udakuwa jyo our friend based our agents are also coming to Kumi. Polling stations in Kaga Musa. I will be able to tell the other was for the money. I will go out the barrel. The Jabuan is so happy. The Wakwata was the best, but one in the Sango Java would never. By the polling stations in Zimu, go to Tai. A minute. We were to sing about TDOs. Zim of Ronda Uwe, never moving of Baron Pepo, who has got dope, never water or none about taking it up. Never take a worry, never bother. But agents, Baba Quat, never to Alan, never see up. Never come here or put our moon. No other Bakatimo, Jim saying, get the other forms, which Fuba, Mukwa moon, never say, come here. Kakati, a little nephew to the Bakose, Boba Naba, and your town would do Ivani. Musema take a little gun to Baba Bazizom Savo Guana Gomera, who bite a prison. So my article three, Bomena Sema take an open fifty five or woman. Obosizum Sango Guana Pomora. It has a matter of Munyinga Yoksa. I should take up one Uganda or not. It will move among whom to Arwan is a Samateka Ngarese with Fujungari Bakora, because of Bakora Kuronda Muino Muanga Gamateka with Garahina. So no way so gay. Fe Ngabe for DC. Tuliwa Tulibet FT, Eda Tuwa Lukaka Se Guanga. Two quarter Ganyan ever nafi, a baby bina, a vidala yuna, Ukena mass of Kuanagana, Ne Kuanagana, Nemuan Yon Seven, or Uta Chusa, Will Yava. It ain't you, Quayam, and Sema take out to Kakatapo, Iranga Tusa, and we never ye, Ava to Wagida, but member of HB Natcha for Jeff DC, but member of HB Natcha no. Echa Jema, Echa PPP, now the Lalam will now have a Nayuganda, no matter which Vina, to the Kokurumangana, to Angangi, Nache Marida, the Tulich Tore, the Tuga Namukarukano, or Guru Nobu Dako, they to Mangangi, the Tulich Tore. So you are aware of the Tulidate, the Polo Moriboko, or Rice and Nache Marida. Never let you never. Thank you very much. Um, that was the FDC. <clears throat> I now as I said I will follow the order from my right. I want to invite our elder, who is also leading a red card movement, as you all know, a retired Dr. Kiza Westje, to give his brief comments. The request of the media is that when you finish 
the English version, you make, uh, you summarize in, in Uganda. That's the request from the media. May I now invite Dr. Weski and members of the uh, Say on 
how their country is managed or how their wealth is managed. That's why people have been crying in this current budget that as people are starving, they have appropriated nearly 2 billion shillings to be spent in one family of Mr. and Mrs. Mosebe. They can spend all the money they want as the rest starve. And Mosebe will shamelessly come and say, there is nothing to do, just tighten your belts. For him, he's not entitled to have a belt. He doesn't need any belt. See you to tighten your belts. So that is the cause of the crisis. Having no voice, living in a country without voice, having people without power. So the struggle that the country must undertake is to regain power, to regain influence in the country. That's the struggle, to shift power from those who captured it to those who don't have it. It's a power shift. Now, so the last point I want to make is how does that power shift? from those who captured it to those who are now victims of powerlessness. How does the power shift? We did shift by those who captured us organizing elections and, and that we come and vote and they, they say, okay, now you have power, you can now take over the country. It won't happen. And that's what we are confirming today that the elections in and of themselves will not shift power from those who captured it with the guns to the people of Uganda. It will not shift it. Or, oh, what now I hear our brother who has just uh, uh, defected from us, if he was with us, <laughs> the now Minister Robert Mao, that he has gone to lead a process for dialogue to have reforms in the country. And that is why he has gone to organize dialogue so that there are reforms in the country. How will those reforms return the power? Even if you organize the dialogue and the reforms are actually done, Let's su suppose he has been successful. He has organized the dialogue, the reforms have been done. How will the reforms return the power? Because you heard from Omorod that all the things that were, were done in all these by elections, Kayunga, Omoro, Soroti, were all illegal. They were all unconstitutional. You know? It's not that there is a bad constitution or there are bad laws. No. It's that there is impunity. Those with the power override whatever law is there. They do what they want. So if you change the law, who will make sure that that law actually is respected? How? How will the laws be respected? How can the constitution be respected? So dialogue, while power remains controlled by those who captured it by force, will not shift that power to those who don't have it. You can change the laws, you can change it. Constitution, even you can change all, but who will respect it? And whenever they want to change the constitution anyway, at any stage, they can change it again, as they have been doing. So, the way to get back our power is to unite.
unite all of us and the population to be rallied together and once that happens and I am very excited that I can see it now beginning to happen I can see it happen even if it was tomorrow if we say tomorrow let all of us do this this regime has absolutely no capacity to stop so the people must reclaim their power by action. They must take the actions that gave them back their power. And this statement we are signing today, I am very glad is saying that. <laughs> that we shall not go to lament that our people have been arrested, oh, now what can we do? Now they have to stop the ballot papers. No. That we are now all going to organize. First of all, give the message to the people that it is us to ensure our own freedom. And once they get the message, we organize them to now move to take actions that will ensure their rights are respected. Not, not asking to serve our government it we are we are going to government is our servant must become our servant we cannot be it cannot be our master that we are begging it asking it no so i am very very excited this afternoon that uh, uh, we are witnessing all patriots these are the patriots people who care for the country not thieves calling themselves patriots. Like the other day you saw Mr. Museveni in uniform, and he put on that uniform to send a message to frighten the people in the uniform on the eve of elections, saying, I am going to kill anybody who disturbs peace. And later he said, you know, I am the patriot. He's a patriot of starving Ugandans. How can you call yourself a patriot who has been in charge of a country 37 years and the people are being buried for lack of food? How can you be a patriot? So, thank you patriots for this today. And, uh, <laughs> Yes, and Embera, embi, enyo, etala rikanda kwa mwanga ya fe, elimo bantu wa forwari ero, bona. Embera ya ute soroze sa, kwe imili zao mwomu utu. Bana Uganda, wana kiri ya chasora kwe imili zao. Kiri ya chasora kwe kwe funi na mele. Nafune, ilikoze sewa waka. Ne ye imili zao, embele yofe na chetulimu, uruwale yo. Echitile se, mbele ya vya mfuna, mbele ya vya uweleza, ki mbaluwari na temuli maragana, habana kusomero baba ziza yo wakane, nechisera chechoku umura, katechina tuka, kubanga tebacha asobora kubana vinyana masomero, embele ya uweleza, nevi ya mfuna, eva mbio mfuzi. Tere seyeka, eva mbio mfuzi. Ebio mfuzi eviga amba, mtiba banansi, awabani mbela ya kati ya wakati, tuli mwuru wali ilo. Mti, tebaina domozi mbwanga yawe. Norwecho, teba, ebio mbwanga yawe mbwanga, tebiba kwa lena mbwanga tebaina domozi. 
Ebya sangi ba onga kwa ni tuwa ni kuonga ni angeli ebya boga ga wa fe kwa wa mu mchina na mu kaga mami musebe ni wya yingi ni na mu government biya sanga onga tu kuonga ni zebi ya wa mu sente zani mu kama shobanka yuganda kama shobanka cooperative banka simani bichi yuganda nairwezi simani yuganda airlinesi simani yuganda hotelsi simani bichi biya tu kuonga ni zami ona ba ni kavana abatono ni ba bituara. Kasi kwa zetu soroza, zetu watu soroza mu kumundo era kwaanga tetu ina dobozi higa mbati otuje mu nyingi, owe higa mbati zoto zoto tezo zigeenda kutu kuelechi, bato wala ni wako sasa na wako na sisi kwa wanga, so umuta wana wetu wanga ni namu wanye no uvamu ya ufus, ebiaba atumu wanga bata ina dobozi. Ichi tule sewa noche tukora kwe kugonjora imbele. Kuwanga bata ina dohozi. Bafwa matia mbuta vena na dohozi ni walifuna. Boba to ina uinza. Ovote mbele ya uta vena na uinza na uofuna. Oye ya huku ambako asobra kutegeke na akaruru Aka kuwa uinza bumuwe kwa wogende jori. Nga ya huamba huwambi. Che babate wa tulaga mkuro na kwa nabwe tulisengu. Babate wa tulaga nki. Uinzo u salira we kwa anga ino. Fetu uina. Fetu sarawani ya na salira we kwa anga. Simwa. Che babate wa tulaga. Ala nune waku baka nuru. Nuka kuma ni waka kuma ni mifute mune ni alika ni waka mati ya ni wala angi ni lelia. Katibuwe kwa nachori ya gara. Boduki ya mkoti, nchivayo, nchomurodi cha yonge ndeko. Tine koti, nazo, zili mwawaro. Hakeba ni wamba tulaba. Koti ya majega ajirumba, misana tuku. Koti jetuduki na mu. Black mamba za ajirumba, nizijisanya unga tulaba, misana. Parliament je tuwa za tui na parliament ama jega aji umba ni gaji wa mba aga tula wa misana Habu mba cha aliku mnibu haba wakubibwa mba parliament Nwa menyeke ni gongo So, baku laga nti tewte mwini na wiyinza fetu mba salida wo Katiba beba zewa tula wa mkaruru kwa na wetu kenda mba wache wa geza kwa kutula Beba la wanga Wanda baga na nokuwe, insonga na wachi mati geka karu. Baga na kuwe na geli wa we, nti na mwa ise mumbera ya karu. So kati baso bolo kusala ho, ako ako mukawa lekila, na kani ako mukawa we. Baso bolo kwa mati ya ha, tute geko urakinga mwe muli mparate, na mwe muda ba mwe muli. Kati kwa tuwa wangula mwe mukaya na, mwe mwa wangula te mukaya na, na inga te mwa wa, si si u si u. Bewa kiri zaidi ya boka kwa katua ni naka ni kwa katua. So, fedro waza ira nga chetu kum chetu chetu kuna ni diko lwa niro ndi ya karuru. Tetu ya kiri zaka tam kavi ndemo maso we kati ngavali imbansi ya fe ngavali imbali ya bewe. Tetu ya kusigara katu kora ngavi mtu ba tetu kora. Batu bie, batu bie, baba kute, baba kute muna ange. Haa, titujia kukenda mkaruru kula chana. Mwitu watu genze mkaruru kukenda kuhuli la abatu wabali, abali ya yaba agale nchuka chuka. Bie, kwa le mwomu ni mwomu kulaba, kwa uyinza wawe, baburu wani lila mkaruru. Titulaga. Ata abatu. Kwa tuwa anga tuwe nase, ni tuga ambe nsiyo na ntienja chino chechino kutambula. Nani tuche nga tina mwene chitambula. Kwa mi musewe ni wakoma. Kwa mi mani kasora. Nye baba ni mwono zipara na zikia nimi motoka. Nga tu sazewe kwa nga nyo na. Ni tu sana wote ya haa. Ni tucha wate, tucha kutambula na chino tuchimilisa. Chinja kuhimi. Norwecho, noze nete keka yeta ambule. Tulebe. Kwa wanda mwopaka, nukutopa wanda. 
abantu basigalawo abantu be mwana be soro tibali bonna be mwana bati bali yeta inayo so we tuga mati soro ti yimirire ja kola ti ti ja kuyimirira kwaga wajide ka mitambo la tabaina atenga mo ba balanga ba be dwa kwa ba cha muraba nga ya ina ensawo omusobola okuvensa ko kibajja mwako okuria na iwe wala bangana lecho tacha asobola nteri aje ko kumubera so uh, tuli basanyo fundi olwale yo bana yuganda fenna bando oza sonna tujeye dobozi ntitutambulire wamu tusoke tulareti bana yuganda obuyinza bwabe bwa dikte kati boba no obuyinza we basobola okusalawo abagalo okuwagira nkola chiyo bankola chi Kuchuvulo kufuna akaduru akama si baba tunga baba so kufuna mwenzi so mbeba zangu na abata mbusisa ndo hose no ati ndo hosa tuwebo 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 ze kubuli yao na kiyongira yo mganda wangiro batichia aburani kuwanga Yeye gami kutoa vute soroti na gama divana katichi tidi tidi tu yekole moji tu yekole mo of course fe unda wimba gami ebiye bina kuari kuari teka dabai fe tu wado rende tu kora si tu rende tu wado tu tamu la kujapo di baba dewa tu wala ni muna ngoro yeka.
uh, platforms. However, when things come in certain ways, we have to think in certain ways as well, ladies and gentlemen. Now, having heard from uh, my fellow leaders, I just want to send messages to three type, to two types of people, maybe three. First, I want to send a message to my fellow leaders, leaders from different political parties, different formations, from different levels. Number one, I think the time has come for us to change our gospel, for us to change our message and be more realistic to the electorate. We go into the election promising change, even at MP level, even when we know that when one becomes an MP under the Museveni regime, apart from agitating, apart from using the parliamentary platform, we can change very little. Therefore, it's my uh, considered view that our message should be more of a revolutionary message. Whether campaigning for MP or even for LC1, the main agenda should be using that election. One, to sensitize people, but also make that election, no matter how small it is, a spark to chase the junta. I think um, the election should be more for sensitization than for winning. In any case, we know that Museveni decides days, sometimes months before the election, who the winner will be. So let's go into these elections, not looking at them as normal elections, because they are not normal elections. When you are going to an election, let the people know, let our supporters and voters and followers know what exactly we are going into, so that when they come from, an ele from that election, whatever comes from that election, we have taken another step towards our liberation. Number two, um, let us try as much as possible to make that particular election a spark. Museven is making mistakes all the time. So don't go to an election only looking for a win and walking away from there. Let's go to Gene Mugulondo Konga to Geze Kuzo Because that is the reality of it. Let us try to go into every election knowing that that particular election, wherever it is, can be a spark that chases Museven away. Let us remember the Arua election. I mean, we go to elections now. They arrest our leaders. They kill some of our people. We don't do nothing. That should challenge us as leaders to think of what makes some third and most important message to the leaders. Friends, let us unite. Let us unite in the real sense of unity. And this message doesn't only go to leaders at presidential or MP levels, but at all levels. You notice, friends, that we have made it easy for Museveni by fighting each other. We have changed our targets from the enemy to each other. And it's unfortunate that even those that work closely with us are not making it easy for us to come together. Now, this country is bigger than our political parties. And the mission is bigger than building our political parties. In any case, one would rightly argue that there are no political parties in Uganda because we don't operate like political parties. Political parties are recognized in a democracy. But in a country where you cannot even organize as a political party, then we cannot boast of being political parties. Therefore, we are all slaves. And the more we fight against each other, it's the more we prolong it from a seven. I will mention that Many of us leaders are working closely to each other, but you, our followers, you, our supporters, and you, our fellow leaders, especially those below us, are making it easy for us to unite and therefore unite you as well. For example, I might have a very good communication line with the Dr. BCJ, with uh, the Honorable Kwaku, with the Honorable Asman Vasariwa, but again, those under me might undermine the same. And the same thing also applies to the other side. You know, I might be relating very well to Dr. with Dr. BCJ. You don't know how many times you have a coffee, how many times you discuss. But the more that I hear negativity from his side or he hears negativity from my side, it even creates that suspicion. And friends, please make it easy for us to work together. 
Now my second and final message goes to the people of Uganda. We leaders have united, or at least have made an effort to unite for a common cause. But we are only leaders, and if you don't follow us where we go and where we show you, we won't succeed. So please get involved. Number one, fellow Ugandans, and this includes uh, supporters, voters, even we the leaders, because we are also Ugandans. We are on our own, you are on your own. Therefore, get involved. Don't depend on only leaders, don't depend on only politicians. You've seen politicians sell out. Now think about those who are following Mao. So, don't over depend on just the politicians. I want to believe that most of Ugandans know now where we want to go. Play a role, lead from whatever angle, from whatever position you are. Lead your people to where you want them to go. We encourage you to rise up. And on this note, I want to salute the people of Virginia, the people of Eastern Uganda, the people of Kusoka, Mweba, the people of Mweba, the people of Thank you. Rise up, especially non-violent. Protest. Protest. Dictators only listen to protests. Don't give up, my friends, because non-violent protests work. The reason why Museveni will come to you with all manner of ammunition, with all manner of weapons, because he knows that's what dropped all the dictators before him. You saw it happen in Sudan. Recently it happened in Sri Lanka. So let us rise, friends. You Ugandans, you have a big role to play in this. Do not give up. Continue protesting. I encourage it. I know that whenever the people of Uganda realistically threaten Museveni. That's when he comes out with brute force. But continue shaking him, continue shaking him. He's not as firm as he used to be. And he will not be as firm tomorrow as he is now. So continue shaking him. Uh, last but not least, I want to remind you, friends, that much as there are political parties, the original inspiration at least to myself and my team, was people power, was the power of the people. People power means you. When you go to elections and you're frustrated, at least you know you have the power. Organize, 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 connect with all like minds. The biggest objective is to drop on seven. These other, you know, intentions are smaller. One might want to become MP, you go come from that election, they become MP, they become mayor. But for as long as Museveni is president, we are still in trouble. So let's pursue the common agenda, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, I always listen to mention that we are non-violent. We do not promote violence. However, I know that there will come a time when we cannot stop even those violent ones. Okay? The Constitution demand, uh, commands us to defend it. The seven is when they were younger, they picked up guns. Do they think people can't pick up guns? So we might not uh, be encouraging people to pick up guns, but again, we're losing the moral authority to stop whoever wants to do whatever. So can you come here? Okay. <laughs> uh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, I want to call upon all Ugandans. Whether you're a political leader, religious leader, traditional uh, cultural leader, ETC, stand on the right side of history. We have seen not only politicians selling their souls, we've also seen religious leaders, we've seen traditional leaders, but the people are watching, the people are supreme. And at the end of the day, you'll end up in the dustbin of history. Museveni has already wasted it. So don't follow the cops to the grave. Watch your Zoom, see you come here. Um, ka 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 mide mu Uganda, pola pola. Okso kanya kwe bazaba kule mzima na fe. Ulokuwe na fe niro. Bato kera ko eje kuanga. Ivi singa bioge dua. Ela sibu wakanya. Benchi kiri abulu junior. Wamula zowa kabuange. Bavilu kiri. Okso ka bugenda ili ba kule mzima na fe. Uruguay Maroc, Nuno, 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 Nuno,
nga kubanga kwa kubudi sabantu kubazi ba maso tuge na mukulonda na inga masebe ni asaze hoda wiki nyinje zi obamwe mwezi muna obamyezi ani agendo kulonda ne tuge na mukalulu abantu ne bajogebwa edobozi ya abantu ne likulukibwa na yate ne tupaye tuge na mwezi mukalulu kalala kibange kigama tuze wano ne masebe ni alage na dalama wanga akabujirira Uganda sente jo kulonda kubadeo era wangu era twayo kende ne bakoze ne bakolengeze banange ne tugamba echo kichike na kugena maso wechyo ezi yekenda okubera imanya yinko no no ensonge obaka wange nganze eri bakolengeze banange bulinji we tuba tugenda mu kulonda tuchuse engiri ya fenga tugenda mu kulonda tuchuse message ya fenga tugenda mu kulonda abantu ba yemeke na mu kulonda ngabasubira tugenda mu kulonda kati omuntu atuyange in any case Nebo wa balangi do yubanga do kulangi ida ngari kulu darafe chitono cha sokolo kuchusa seveni baba ya chatu mandeko no no isonge tu atugenenga mukulonda we tuba tugenze mukulonda tugenze mukulonda ngatumanyi tugenze mu rutalo ngatumanyi tugenze kuzokanya era ngatumanyi tugenze kuwagala abantu tugenze mukulonda ngatunuyi de bintu binya nayo kusingira da okulonda okugwiza okubere mantu so ekedo kwala mu seveni kwa buli kulonda masebe na kole byo kuswa ku bingi nyo buli kulonda masebe na amenya mateka maji nyo ajoka bana yuganda baji nyo ekena ku abantu ne basigala kate baina che bakoze okusinzira ku chiba baina okola no kusinzira ku jogo ne baba tandeko ekirala ekyo kusatu njagalo basaba bakulembeze banane tukwa takane tukola kane kubanga tune bitugata rinji Oksinge bitu awula. Na ati nga nechi kuka tira dali kisingo bukulu. Echi singa bena bena bena. Techo kuwa ni fena tu iba sime. Fena tu wakala kuja kwa msebe. Tui nzo kena mkulo daga. Tui iba bena ni anjao. Netulu magana. Okuwa ukana mbibi no okuwa ukana mba kandi deti. Nechiki ya oo. Nechifana ni chikulu. Nechiki ya oo misho ni yukulu. Ye msebe ni chibachi mkwale. Nchilale msele ni inji. Mufa bakule mbeze na dala bali wansi wafe. Nemba wakizi wafe. Nani kwa tuteza kuhu kwa atakana, boche chiba kolida. Njaka lupa tegeza ni kule. Tulu magana, tuwa tu yamba mseve. Tetueta kukuba wa mkwana. Tetueta kukuba wa mkubila kanisimu. Na hati la tetueta kukulu wa anakana. Wa mseve ni ayakala kukulu wa anakana. In fact, ya chaku mbe sikinga chema manji nyo. Okulaba angateka okula baka kukuba kana. Wakati wafi kuwa kachi usara spi. Fa wakule mbeze tu nizo kukubatu kwa atakana. For example, joke ndeko, mzungu wa noti. Olo mtu cha ilagana na wakule mbeze. Na hati mwe wanaze wakule mbeze wanafe na dala wakuli wansi. Mwuchi fula chizibu ufo kwa atakana. 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 Mwuchi fula chizibu ufo Fetu manye nukwe kubila kasimu. Netu nyo neka chai. Neka tukwe kubaka fana nji. Ngoliwa NUP. Mbate neto kita resike. Atenga manyito litano wangi. Nena ala bate nguwa nise boji. Olo za jabata nekenge. Awafi. Kwa kubaka fana nji. Kino okola na nje. Netu kwa ataka na na nji. Na yate nenda wangu wako kude joli. Kuli negati. Masike na mwekenge la. Nono yisonge. Muku tukalu ubiliza vana nge. Mutu gonde ze. Kwa ataka na kubaka mwini. Kwa ataka na kubaka mwini. Wakawange, wabusemba yu ujako sindika eriba na Uganda. So kila dara, mchukirenti mwini kuluwa mwe. Mwini kuluwa mwe, mwlekila wakwesi kwa kulonda koka. Kwa kulonda koka, tekukenda baya amba. Elections alone will not help you. Our recent history has shown us. So tu ilo kena mkulonda, katuine viroze ninja uru. Mwumanye tutuje yu kulonda, tuwa tuze baka ta. Tuba tuze kuba kuba wakala oksingi la dala ukulonda tu ina kwenye mukulonda gatu kwenye kusoka ni tetu shamu hizi mo seven kwenye tu vude mukulonda atende tu da mukulala wetu fenga fe icha preta mbio mbio mukule mize tuajia kusikula mani kama tetu aita people power na people power yemwe fenga ba kule mize tu sabolo kula be kuba netu ni kuata netu na mwe netu aita na ya tibo muda tu kubeli na kuata kubeli tu ba tu kula chi ya kumalako. Nolo ni songe wanaga wetu wa songe laga watu mkwele chita alisa. Echi lala 
Nja kuwa sabaka. Musitu kiremu. Musitu kiremu. Kuru nusu wola. Buli waba meseji. Obe kude wangi. Obe kude wangi. Kaseba na meseji. Ya kuzoka nyamu sebe ni kumundi ya po. Mujeta nile. Musitu kiremu. Mumere no jamba lano kweba zama na we kusoka. Habana we kinja kweba ni kuku kede na mwa. His Excellency Robert Chagwan sent a movie on the movie holiday and Jacob Bida movie turn out to me. David Gambo Yomukuru, David Diwamu, Naye, Tokiri Zenti Nemokira Simobamba Sidola. If I invite the next leader, I want to recognize the presence of the leader of the opposition department, the Honorable Matthias Kuga. Also, recognize the presence of the chairman, chairman, elder Haji Muhammad Maranja Shikinge, my colleague, MP Chams, Rather Honorable Moses Kabusu. May I now invite the president of GEMA, the Honorable Osman Vasariwa. Because I failed him to limit the time for the ones who spoke earlier, and I am now powerless. That you will have to be the same. I put a visa on now, okay? Yap so can only be missing over the gate of Ghana. Let's take it up, Rudy or Zoom, we go to San Diego. Fetuli Wano. Nga abajema kakasa era kwegatta ku kiwandiko ekikoleddwa era ne kisomebwa wano waliyo era twagala kuwa bweya nti ebiri mu kiwandiko ekyo byonna tujja bikolerako era 
zino walwe chibi chepati no kunga apa techinsa yusa waka ambandi basa aliruwa kati ye president uwe chibi ina opposition achasi zo wangare nyo balobo nama ligo basa nganga kulebe la chibi ina so unude wo nyo I am the longest serving party president of an opposition political party in Uganda currently. In your chambers. No, in your chambers, I was earlier than you. I remember. Now, you are the one who are on you. For you, we are going to be in the middle. But I take a take as you know, so now, this is the better one, as you are at it. Oku Vida Tareli was here to remove IPFC. To Zawo, to the MYPC, to the FOC, to the MFOGC, to the MTDA, to the People Power, and the Basari Gawain. No, no, no. You know, you're not. You're not going to be able to do it. To be bad, 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 to be bad. Oro kuteka o ente kateka muda na ange ono kono ba ticha bula ni sentamu ne timu abara ni ogeta ukula wanti tu demu tu chali koko kwa chagala ngera kutu ba ni tu kole ba ngali yona kuro bulu jibu kuanga emana kile tu ba ni tu inayo esumi mubulu wa budi bwa mu ba election sije ngera kwa kama tu wake la kwe la ba election. Mu Uganda wona na walwe subi di by election yeyo ab opposition ba jaji wa na ye ye subi ni geze di bolashi di guau tuwa chila bomoro ne tu chila be kanyunga tu chila ye suroti ne wagi awala la wage no kubela sirowo zaji ye subi ni chariwo chovola nga empole no obete kateke no. Unuji nyo kwa eja kutuza kumulama kwa kumajinsi ya fe jeraga. Finally, I am here to confirm that as Justice Forum, we fully associate with the statement or document that has been read today, that has been signed by leaders of political parties and formations that are gathered here. We commit fully abide by both the letter and spirit of that document. Because it is our considered opinion that that document represents the future of this country. I want to invite colleagues to remember that in the recent past, each time we have had a by-election, it was a sure win for the opposition. But that possibility every day is waning, is disappearing, is dispersing. That means the need for us to come together to discuss, to engage for the future of the country becomes necessary. It is now absolutely clear that Mr. Museveni and the NRM are provoking Ugandans. When you see what happened in Soroti, it is total provocation. What happened in Kayunga is total provocation. What happened in Umoro is total provocation. Now, these provocations, by the way, are deliberate. And they are intended to send a message, let's do this after all, what will they do? I think this is the answer. So whoever thinks they are going to provoke Ugandans, and we shall sit aside, I think this is a very big lesson. I want to remind you colleagues that even us leaders can be vulnerable. But as the call has been made, this struggle must be owned by Ugandans. It is you, the Ugandans, that must take this struggle ahead. In the countries where there have been change, I'll ask, and I'll talk about a country where I have been, or where I was several times before the revolution, Libya. I used to go to Libya almost every year because there were, used to be events there. There was no position in Libya. It was not there. Who among us journalists here can tell us who was the leader of opposition during the era of brother leader Muammar Gaddafi? Who? Because Gaddafi was the imam, was the leader of the opposition, was the mufti, was everything. <laughs> but time came, the people rose up. 
even without leadership. In Tunisia, this young man who set himself up place, he was not a member of any political party. So that should be able to tell Ugandans that when it comes to reclaiming your country, when it is about your country, you must take charge without necessarily looking at just the leaders. We will be present, we will provide the leadership. But if you think we are taking you to the wrong right direction, please reclaim your country because after all, this is about you, this is about Uganda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, the President of Jerba. You see, Soroti was very interesting. At the police station called Akum, Catholic Church, the people they sent to arrest FDC agents didn't know them. So they also arrested an NRM agent. <laughs> <laughs> an NRM agent, his name is called uh, uh, Mok Michael. He has been released on the same board with FDC. They discovered that even there they had arrested. So that's how rampaging these people were. They are now invited the president of PPP and then we will be concluding this press conference. Thank you very much, Morocco. Uh, thank you. Fellow leaders, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what I'm going to add on what my fellow leaders have said, but I will just make a few comments just to augment on what uh, my leaders have said. First of all, I want to thank Honorable uh, the President of uh, NUC for this initiative because this has been long overdue. This has been long overdue. We have been talking about it every day, every time. But because of these differences and those differences, every initiative that has been uh, that, that we have been doing to make sure that we come together has been in vain. So I want to thank you very much that at least today you have managed to rally us and brought us together here. But I also want to thank Dr. SJ. You know very well that in the recent past, Dr. SJ, Honorable uh, uh, Mr. Alwega Mukapo and others took the initiative to try to run us together. They, they invited us in meetings, we sat in meetings until we reached a level of signing a memorandum of understanding to work together. Where People's Progressive Party side did not sign because our point was that we cannot claim to be united when national unity platform, which is the biggest party now in the opposition, is not part of the, the unity. So we thought that it would be relevant if we came together, national unity, unity platform, FDC, did at that time before they joined the eating group, we thought that we would be together to have a formidable group, a formidable formation that can shake this dictatorial regime. Honorable Master, you have talked about uh, uh, previous initiatives to come together. I have been part of almost all those initiatives. No, uh, Honorable Master, I was you remember. Since 1996, some of us have, have been part and parcel of the, the fight to liberate Uganda from this dictatorial regime. But what is it that has failed in all these initiatives? We must ask that big question. Honorable, uh, 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 Honorable Robert Chabulani, Dr. Benzige, all other fellow leaders, we must ask a big question. What is it that has failed all the other initiatives that we have tried to put in place? 
For instance, there was a time when I don't know whether it was uh, 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 IPFC, whether they were going to sign a memorandum of understanding and one of the party leaders did not turn out. So, to me, this honesty is what we must deal with if we are to, to unite. This honesty is very, very important, is a key in everything, more especially in the political struggles where we are fighting a dictator who can at any one point in time can infiltrate the group and use some elements within your within the organized organized groups to disorganize the group. So honesty is very very important if this initiative that we have started shall progress. So it's very very important. Uh, I also want to augment another point. We are all politicians here. But there are some bodies, professional bodies, religious bodies in this country. Where are you? Where are you? Journalists, where are you? This message we are conveying is not about politicians at all. Where are you? This is about your freedom. This is about liberating your country. Being a journalist does not mean that you are affiliate to some political, you know, uh, 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 parties. You must have a cause as, uh, uh, you know, a uh, 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 professional bodies. In countries like Sudan, when they were chasing away Bashir, all professional bodies, uh, law societies, journalists, every, you know, a, a professional body, came out and went to the streets. At one point in time here, when there was no uh, work, to, work to work, it is Kasita that wrote a letter to government to come and, you know, and disperse the, 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 the cross that had come, come to, 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 to participate in work to work. Now, where are they? All of their businesses have crippled. Nobody can now do anything. But because at that moment in time they thought that it is only the politicians who are being harassed or are being persecuted. Now it has eaten everybody. So I want also to call upon all of us, because here in this country, when they are touching on Batembei, those in Owino claim that no, for us we are not in Owino, it is about Batembei. When they are touching on Boda Boda people and they are trying to demonstrate, the Owino people claim that for them they are not riding for the borders. When are we going to come out together that what is touching me is touching him and it is touching this one? That is what we must do to make sure that we, we, we create a political mass. In fact, our participation in these elections, as Honorable uh, Chaburani has just said, is not about winning alone. Because what Museven is doing is to create apathy among us, our population, creating apathy so that we no longer participate in that election. That is what he's trying to do. You are saying that he's provoking us. No, he's deliberately creating that apathy so that at the end of the day, the population shall resign and say we should not participate anymore. Our participation is to try to create a critical mass and we must continue participating, it doesn't matter what, so that we build that critical mass that shall ultimately do what Dr. Messi is saying. That is what, that is what took Museven in, 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 the, in the election of 1980. He knew he was not going to, to win. He knew. But he participated to create a justification for him to go and do what he did. So our participation is majorly to try to build that political mass, and we must continue doing that. Um, just like I said, everything has been said. I'm just echoing, I'm just augmenting uh, some of the points that my colleagues have just, you know, uh, 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 elaborated well here. But how can we work with the electoral commission 
I was talking to one of the here, and I was giving him a scenario. Here we are talking about Omoro, we are talking about Soroti. But you remember the time when Honorable Bochabrani was arrested in Luoka. When the, the chairman electoral commission was asked whether he knew what was happening in Luoka, he said for him he did not have a DSTV at home. Therefore he could not see and witness what had gone on in Luoka. Can you imagine where such an institution that is supposed to be the presiding officer in an election Somebody comes out in a joking way and say for me, they had cut me off the DSTV and I could not see. You remember the consequences of the, his arrest where hundreds of people died. Here is a lawyer, a senior lawyer, whom you think that at one point in time sanity would prevail. But he said he didn't see. So, we must make sure that we rally together to force this uh, dictatorial regime out. With those few remarks, Martin Namba, Nti Neva Zauna Rebucha Abulani, Okutule Tatubeza, Chinotuba Detucha, Tuchiwani Lira, Tuchiwani Lira, Ebanga Yona. Atera Neva Zauna Rebucha Chiza Vesige, Mr. Muka, Kunevane, Kubanga, Chinopova Arima, Chitandika Koda. Never about it, and the Abamu Kufet was in. Never by your signing up to our country, let that the two Japs signing a two Japuba observer, and a two Japuka Gana Namu. And I trust Mr. Sunday here, Mr. Sunday, can you stand up for recognition? This is a BPP member who is an administrator in PFT initiative. So we have been working with them. Never to our signing and to our gamma. The Cheta Gisa, Fenda to be Rewamu. Irana kwa rong tawa no kusika na ona repo cha kulani, imirudi etuera, nga njaga la tu kendo kuega cha, nga etimile tsingo unene, mkuwa ge cha opposition, mkuwa tomo, muetiri, ndi hapa, ndi musanyufu, chorua re ona repo cha kulani, ati kose, yesusomo la kuega cha. Bagani nti, fenna mo yuganda tuina obligation. Okuwa na nuntaru, mwamba mauli re, abama uli re, mwe 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 ni, muri part and part of this trouble. Muri mepu rawaza, timu muri tia muri tia reporting kaje tu ogeti. Na mwe muri na o muri na mukuna nisiwa, o kuta yobi no, ne muri amuri faika, ati ne bovi kasi ano kutu singa, kwa kwa no kute mungi. Bwe baba la wonya wonya abama uli re. Pamo nyama nyama na mji ufu si namu mukolaji, namu mpera mu, umaanga akakula, impapula zama uli zivira ni saidi. Tuo ina kupera ungo kanchi zengi kufensi si na chakuti si na wendi. Si chipe professionale, ukula banga watu ba nyikiti swa na wenye mukolaji, na funa saidi. Tu kumira wana professional bodies, Uganda no society, ba ingi ni ya ba ni, abantu ba ni mu businessi. Chino, techina kwa chitajia kutuka. Baka sito lupa wa nike parua, kabaka mamuna alajia mchibuko kweka la kasa, baka ita kono nendiri mujiawe. Olu wale lupa kasita, baka mante wale hali kola business, mechia kola, so naza kola ji, zaagua. Nenda wali wa roza, nchikolo wa protecting aji, business is our. So tuwa kumi kwa umulanda. Banda dini, eli ntubiso kwa kumitio kukena maze sorote kifana na kwenitio. Ne tuta la baba bishop kwa soro tinga ba fute yoku ba kuche mombera. Eni tuweke na miti ya maso, amoru. Ne tuta la baba bishop kwa ya amoru, na ba fute yoku ba kuche wakolaji, che mombera. Yes, wali wa baba yoku mombera. Ne tuwa kala kwa kwa kumarobozi, nga waka waka kati no suuga, nga waka waka bishop kwa umanga kwa kwa yoku. Kwa anga chine chike na maso kwa china agenda, na che mombera yoku. Na wako berezi tebaja kugenda mchi, mchiaji. Nebi gambe nyo, ya kala kumeba za kuhuliviza, niina kubaga matino message. Egende, ateke nene wa presenti musebe ni intiru nore tuta anise, tetuke nda kunda mabega. Mwewa lekumpu hizi. Thank you very much, President of DPP. I want to invite the honorable Madhya Sifuga, 
is our leader in parliament, commit on our behalf to those of us who are do work in parliament, and then I will advise what we do next. Thank you, Comrade Ibrahim Sumju. Our party leaders, friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen, to be very brief, the presentation here from uh, the different political party leaders summarizes the sentiments of the people and the frustrations of the leaders. Now sometimes you can be joined together by your goals, but also your frustrations. I think all of us have in a way tested how frustrating to work as either a loner or as a divided group, but pursuing the same goal. I would like this evening, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, to initially thank our leaders for this noble initiative. The cause for Vera Uganda can only serve the purpose of joining all of us, regardless of roots, regardless of individual pursuits, regardless of whether we actually are friends. The duty to serve Uganda must as of necessity bring us together. And I'm glad today to speak on behalf of members of parliament from the opposition. Uh, although um, over the last couple of years, I'm sort of days, I'm still wondering whether I'm still keeping my nine members that were um, mortgaged within uh, by the landlord with the disabled uh, so, so I probably have had a meeting with them over the week to confirm their allegiance to the common cause. <laughs> but I would like to most heartily thank our leaders. It's not an easy job for us in Parliament when the foundations from where these members come from are divided. It's an easy job for me to do and enforce my duty and my role as a leader when the roots are firm, when the foundations communicate. And on that today, I can crack the whip if anybody veers off the cause of unity of the parties in and outside the parliament. I want to thank you most sincerely. And I would like to use the same platform to extend the same credible call to all and sundry that we are not aliens in this country. And that all of us have a duty. And all of us have a capacity. The capacities can vary. The abilities can be different, but all of us can make a contribution to make this country a better country, and that we can actually summon our little energies to make them really bigger energies by working together. Thank you so much for this initiative, and uh, I can pray and promise that I'm going to rally my troops to move with this initiative. Thank you so much. <laughs> Okwe <laughs> Agenda kusoka kulinya motoka ya leo kuchitewe yeo uze. Okwe uza kwa wende, musululu, moja. Anava kumogendo, anava atamlalu gendo we. Tuma gezo gendo ulunji. Nechu mleche mdeme jana wala zo wanda mlejana. Yemi <laughs> <laughs> somo za ninji. Nemo unafu wa fe. Sechi no mu. Walu wa manji manji nyo. Amana fumewe gata. Kofu na manji. Tituwe na hapa wala fu, fetuwe nyoma. 
Olwaleyo tunye utsoke jukiza amanyi gafemanyi nyo tuga sasa nya tu omulale omulafuru ko jena afana ngo wa amanyi no lwecho ya kwasubiza mwenna ne bana Uganda bali eyo ogwangi ngano mira timu eri parliament nja kutukiza twaleyo yebuza buza nja chama ku kuva kwebuza twamaze ndo kwebuza kutambula fena basubiza kutambula ne timu eno na baka bonna era nne bakwai cha mubwangu dala mukoka se abaka parliament ya opposition okwate geza da inachi anga majibu za chama awali komu kono mwekeleka Thank you very much. We've done more than two hours. We are supposed to have questions. Now time can allow. May I invite the chairman of the chamber to give us the closing prayer? sacha iko geto tv muganda wange kwanilizana tera acha yongero kwanilizana okwebaza webale 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 kubera ko webale kubera ko muganda wange songo zuri de uh, songo zuri de basiza chimu olunaku olwalero olunaku olwalero basiza chimu nga nkuyege okulabanga ebigenda maso na dala mu kulonda uh, by elections oboku damu okulonda toyina zoom nze Sembe uh, muna muba demo FDC, muba demo national unit platform wa NUP. Muba demo jema ne PPU. PPU ini yali ya bida, ya bina, ya eh, eh, bida andi sari. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much. So let me now only have Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> The individuals will have one on one with the leaders. Our media will have one on one with the leaders for the interview. We have opened individual interviews for the leaders. So feel free to interact with them. So you want? I am going to uh, give you the document. <laughs> yes, yes, to chagin a mass, no kuba where is an atera, Baganda Bangay, to the one of Mochiboga, Kampala. Kwa Afrikana, yi nsuburu kuchogira katituli kwa Afrikana Ababo jirezi, obaba informa wa state agent Musuburu tegira wawe tuli Musubula katiolu kusaluba kilizo kutegira u Tuli wano kwa Afrikana olunako olalero Nga ebibina, obaba president ebibina Muganda wange ebili Ebili kuludo olufu ganya Ababo deyo olunako olalero Okulaba nga bogira kwebi ebiba debiba una dala mukulonda Okubade kudibu wa mwacho nzo kuita by elections Okulonda kuneno mganda wange kubade kubira mu obfuyobunji Atenga wana bufana gana Munu murimu emotoka ezitambu zo urudu ezikuwa avantu sako neziba kuata Batera, batera kuzijia kwa number plate Okulonda kuna 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 baba deba tambuza obululu Obulonde uh, muganda wange mba, nebabu seka mboxi Okulonda kuna kwa wade kebi okulabi lako kwa mirundi esatu Kwa mirundi esatu uh, Kwa mirundi esatu Mubademu, mubademu chetu inzo kuita uh, uh, Chetu inzo kuita antiba kuataba agency Aba polling agent sababu tere dua ukomo bulu ne baba kuata ne baba chwala orono muna angi orono muna angi ne baba yokuaba kula ebiabo ne hoba ne baba tandika ukubwa ubulu ne baba tandika ukuywa mu ubulu mungeli yefana ni risa bwetu mungeli yefana ni risa bwetu bikole dua angi baba bikole bwa omolo ira baba bikole bwa aba nukode yo na banja prime minister na banja yomu kwenye nyingira mubi korabino wanida ba nukode yo ba nukode yo rosemary seninde yomu ababira mubi korabu no kuteka mo drone mo kuamba bantu o kubagula ke misango juu ya se foolish cases ba foolish ah judges ah ah cases ziba ba gula ko ah mu ba linyo ah mu ba lidala
Yes, mwe bali nyumwe bali dala mu Kirizemba sibule mugana wange JB muonge nkutumide konyo je bali kojo najo tuisa kengalo uh, Faustin Masaba nawe je bali kojo najo tuisa kengalo mwana ba boy mwe bali kubera Rio uh, mwe bali kwa Galas twago mu Kirizemba sibule ate uh, tujja kuba tukwatagana oluna ku olulala nsiga de ndi buganda Ronald Mugenyi okubaweleza na tera mwe bali nyo mwe bali dala aha aha njagala okujukiza Njagalo okujukiza baganda bange bonna abansubiza kastandi kalike twayogera ko banange mbajukiza mbajukize emirimu gisobole okutambula obulunji na yenga mwe bale nnyo mwe bali le dalanga mbasibula e, kambale kere dobo zirino kambale kere dobo zino mujira muri wulirako wana amaliriza abasibule officially uh, yes members uh, i know you've been watching this press conference uh, this is Ashraf Kasidi and I hope you have seen what the leaders have said. However, we must not place all our encouragement into this uh, unity because we, all, we have already seen these guys uniting the past and it doesn't come out as we all expect. What we must take out of this press conference is are the words of the, uh, the lead of the National Unity Plus platform, that is Robert Yagulain Sentam, who says it is us, the people who are being led, to lead the leading. We must lead it. We shouldn't allow these leaders to support touch what we want, what we need our country to go through and get the success of being out of this dictatorship of uh, Yoweli Museven Tibuhaura, the way he is called. So the issue is, yes, they have united, they have started this process of uniting. However, we don't know where it will end. We don't know, we, don't, we can't even perceive where this will end. But the point is, it is us, the people, to lead this and to be asking them you told us this you told us that you will be together throughout the process but look what are you doing right now now look Robert uh, 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 got uh, together with these people sometime back in 2018 we remember we had a press conference here in 2018 I think year 2018 and Mao was inclusive Jeno Muntu was inclusive very many people were inclusive and they all told us you know guys we are uniting but when it came to elections uh, in 2020 we saw that everyone had fronted a candidate, a presidential candidate, candidates everywhere in, in, in the constituencies, and it really didn't go well because the unity wasn't there. And number two, what disunites us is the money that is being used by the dictator who steals the money from, from the taxpayers. We have already seen people being paid, the way Mao was paid, the way uh, uh, this uh, FDC uh, central uh, president uh, who Joyce Sebogwao who was bought all these people have been bought because Museven has the notice of stealing the money that is given to him by the taxpayers we Ugandans therefore it goes back to us it is us to fight the war it is us to lead this and one day we shall get there see you guys and maybe one day I'll be able to come back and work with you as I go on to receive my treatment and please pray for me as I pray for you Ghanans. See you and thank you so much.